Welcome to this introduction to my masterclass. I have decided to set up a masterclass around the world uh, for each and every one through something I call KV Online. So it will be online all the time and the next uh, masterclass we have is, is September 16th and it's a three hour session that goes from 9 a.m. to 12 a.m. Uh, what I will uh, touch here is a couple of things. First and foremost, uh, I call this program uh, uh, Masterclass Wisdom for Life. And the reason why I do that is because this is uh, summarizing some of these uh, things that I have learned over the last 35 years from 20,000 participants that have been on the trainings. Uh, I would like uh, to go through this uh, here today. First and foremost, the content of this here will be uh, the leadership qualified for the future. Uh, personal strength and professional strength. I'll talk about core performance and I'll also talk about personal performance index, which is the test I sent to you. Uh, you'll probably sit with that in front of you, uh, but we'll come back to that later. What I'll discuss here on the leadership is the following, and what I would like to introduce is elite practice of leadership is what I call e-leadership. So the elite practice of leadership. Management, leadership, and e-leadership. And I learned over the years that there's no such a thing like bad and good management. It's all called weak management, weak leadership, strong leadership, strong management, and elite leadership and elite management. And that's important. The only thing you have to discuss with yourself now is which one of them will let you go into the future because I'll come back to that when I talk about your career. Promotion or qualify for the future, exactly that. Many people think that they would like to get promoted for the next job about them. This is wrong. What you should do is to qualify yourself for the future of your company. And if you can do that, you make yourself very attractive and that's exactly what I'll talk about, how to do that. Learning point number two, personal and professional strengths. What is a personal strength? The personal strength start, uh, is to start a, a chain reaction of bright ideas. You can't do that alone. You have your team, uh, people around you, and you have to start that chain process just by focusing on them and ask them for come up with great ideas. And that is what I call to start a chain reaction. You only do that with your personality. This is not something you sit down and learn. It's something that you have tried and build up your own experience how to do that. And uh, it's all, uh, next step in this is to turn, what the personal strength is to turn this into innovation. In, uh, in the concept we call that exploration, it means that we go out and try to figure out what's going on in the world and now we add that a little bit here and that is to make ideas into innovation. Uh, the same thing here with what is a professional strength. A professional strength is to make knowledge productive. I repeat, to make knowledge productive. Your knowledge, make that productive. Uh, in, the, in the concept here, we call that exploitation. That is to make things more and more and more effective, more and more productive. That is uh, the uh, learning point number one and two, and learning point number three looks like this. Uh, here we're talking about uh, corporate art performance uh, qualifying for the future. The interesting thing is here, if you look at these two here, your what is the personal strength and your professional strengths, these up, up here are four times more powerful than these down there. Uh, this is scientific proven, I'll not discuss that with you now, but I'll show you later. Here we have the personal strengths, here we have the professional strengths, and where we are aiming at is out there. Research shows that less than 1% of all companies is exactly out here. Means they don't use the professional strength to that extent and they don't use uh, personal strength to that extent up here. And for that reason, they are not up there. This is something I'll show you how that actually works. The last thing that we'll really go through is this that comes up here. That's the only one that before. It's called that personal performance index. It goes right into what I've already talked about, so it's actually a summarizing about uh, what all this uh, masterclass is all about. We talk about resource accusations that can either be negative or positive. We talk about your self-efficacy that can either be low or high, and the point is here exactly the same thing as up here. With your personal strengths up here, your personal strengths goes right in here. It's called self-efficacy in my language, and up here, 
We call this resulting mutation, that is to make knowledge productive. Thank you very much. This was a pretty fast introduction to the masterclass and uh, see you again September 16th. And I do look forward. Thank you very much.